Good morning, everybody. Halloween Gal back with some more reviews. I know it's been, you know, probably three or four years since I've put anything together, but now that the grandbaby's, you know, a little bit older, I have more time. So, um, I've got the Facebook group up and running again. Um, I've been working on getting all the albums updated and yada, yada, yada. So, somebody asked me to do a review. And here it comes. So, The World of Debbie McComber Come Home to Color is such a cute book. It's really, really cute and it has a ton of pictures. Um, <clears throat> let's see, this book is about a lady um, that bought a Beth bed and breakfast. And when you open it up, on each page on the left hand side is just a little. Um, story to like this one the moment I pulled into the driveway with the real estate agent I was embraced by the inn's appeal oh yes and it's bright natural light and large windows that overlook the cove this B&B &B felt like home already it was the perfect place for starting my new life so it's just a small little thing on each page the back side of each coloring page which I kind of like because if you like to use markers then you know if there's any bleed through it won't bleed onto another page just make sure you have some kind of divider in here especially if you use alcohol based markers <clears throat> the, the um, paper is thick it's not like computer paper you're not gonna have any tears if you're trying to use multiple layers of of colors um, when I get to the page that I've been working on I'm going to show you how the colors lay down with three different um, color pencils uh, the polychromo Faber Castells these new ones that I got, Star Joy, um, beautiful colors by the way, and my faves, Prisma Colors. So let's get on. I'm just going to flip through this real quick so you guys can see the pictures. Uh, there is lots of intricate stuff to do, uh, like in regards to like flowers and different things like that. But these, um, <clears throat> there's so much potential on each one of these pages, depending on your creativity. I love this one. Look at the garden. And the, I don't know. That could be apple trees, peaches, whatever. Um, I'm a sucker for gardens. Look at the teacups. It's tea time. Oh, and who doesn't love yarn? I can't wait to do this page. That must be the town. Harbor Street. Oh, in the wind. Look at the kitty and the basket of yarn. So cute. And this is the one I've been working on to to see, you know, how the colors lay down. And I uh, let me zoom you in a little bit, and I can see my camera light. There we go. Okay. So, I'm not going to spend too long on this. I just want to give you an idea. This is the polychromos. They lay like butter on this page, on this paper. Um, I mean, look, I don't even have to do little bitty circles to try to get the coverage. They just, just lays like butter. I'm kind of shaky. I just woke up. You know, uh, when I go to sleep, or I should say when I try to go to sleep, my brain just does not like to turn off. And uh, so I'll lay there for hours and hours thinking about stuff. And last night, this is what I was thinking about this video. So, you look at that, it just lays like butter. And then, let's see, come in and do add some darker lines. Give it a little bit of dimension, I hope. Whew, that's blurry. That was another reason I quit for so long because my eyes were getting really bad and um, there's 
so expensive now. Glasses are so expensive nowadays, especially if you need some kind of bifocal. God forbid. So we're around blind because I can't pay $700 for glasses. I'm, I'm just joking, they're not really $700. So that's the Faber Castell. <clears throat> And these, this is the Prisma colors. <clears throat> Let's see. We'll go right here. And look at that. And for those that don't know, uh, the difference between the Faber Castells and the Prisma colors is that uh, the polychromos are oil based and Prisma colors are wax based. And I have found that the oil colors or the polychromos, they really do seem to lay down um, a lot better and uh, they blend very well, but I like, um, I prefer the Prisma colors. Everybody knows that, but I like the Prisma colors because um, I can, I seem to be able to get more, more layers and colors and blend better, but that's not everybody. That's just me. And, you know, everybody has their own, their own preference. Um, I have seen some beautiful work, like just gorgeous with Faber-Castells um, um, that I'm jealous of and wish I had that kind of talent, but I will one day, one day. <clears throat> the top two that I like, Polychromos and Prismacolors. I just don't know if um, they've come out with anything better since I've been out of commission. So the last color I'm going to drop down for you guys is the uh, orange from the Starjoy color pencils, which by the way, I got for $25 on Amazon for today's best deals. And I uh, do put links to deals that I find like this in the Facebook page for people. And I try to do that daily. Um, good pencil deals. I mean, who doesn't? <clears throat> so this is the Starjoy and I really like them. Believe it or not, uh, I, they lay down just as smooth. At least it seems to me like they do. Uh, they they they're a little bit waxier than Prisma colors, so I wasn't able to necessarily get as many layers as I do with the other two pencils. But I was still able to get quite a few layers put down with them. And um, let's see. The, the yellows and the pinks especially are, are really waxy, but I mean, for somebody who is beyond, you know, the cheap color pencils, but doesn't, you know, quite have the money for a more expensive set, this is a good alternative. It's a good in-between. Let's go ahead and do a review of these pencils. Not not in this video, but another video. See there? The paper in this book is fantastic. It really uh, grabs grabs it. So anyway, back to the book review. <clears throat> Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit and show you the rest of the pictures here. Try to make it quick. <clears throat> oh, that's a little tea shop. Oh, coffee shop. Top of the joint. That's my kind of place. Up here. This will work better if I go like this, I think. 
Ooh, that's a pretty landscape. I'm like envisioning Thomas Kincaid kind of stuff on this one. Susanna's Garden. More yarn. I love that. I actually have a hutch similar to that. A library so much potential look at all the books who doesn't love a library and it's like three-dimensional like this is a doorway to another room so that's another room in the library oh so my next page I've been wanting to practice water and uh, see if I can get that down so I can do some nice backgrounds in Joanna Basford's books. The Farmer's Market. There's even, oh, so much color in this one. It's going to be beautiful. Do puppy. kind of cool like if I could get I could color this page and then when my friends come over have them sign it I don't know, I'm just a dork like that oh it's a little crib look back in it follow the yellow brick road follow the yellow brick road Oh, I love kitchens too. I love this whole book. Can you tell? <clears throat> I've been uh, since I've started coloring again. I've been doing my gnome home poster, and then I needed a break, so I started coloring that frog and. Uh, Joanna Bassford's book, but I think that I'm gonna tackle this book when I get done with those So that's that's about it. Uh, like I said, it's got really thick paper. It's not computer paper or cheap at all It's really thick. It grabs the color really well. You saw for yourself how easily those three colors laid down no, Right here how easily those three different pencils laid down. I'm positive that um, Crayola and any other pencil that you put on here is going to lay down really nicely. <clears throat> um, I would definitely recommend this book. Again, it is Debbie McComer's Come Home to Color. Um, it, I don't think you can go wrong if you like this, these types of pictures. Um, definitely encourage you to, to give it a go or if you have it, pull it back out of your collection of books and give it a try. So, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join our Facebook page and look down in the description box for um, a link to this book and to the pencils that I used in the video. So have a great day.